Psalm 48 describes in striking terms the importance and beauty of Jerusalem, built on Mount Zion, with towers and bulwarks. But this is also a place described as the city of our God, which will be upheld by him forever, and which is the joy of the whole earth. Reflecting this, in the Middle Ages, maps of the world, such as the famous Mappa Mundi at Hereford Cathedral, had Jerusalem at the centre, with everything else spread out around it. For St Paul, the coming of Jesus Christ meant that there was a new kind of citizenship, which meant we could be part of the kingdom of heaven, even while we live on earth. The new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven, is depicted in the very last few chapters of the book of Revelation, a city even more beautiful and significant than the subject of this psalm. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised, in the city of our God, even upon his holy hill. The hill of Zion is a fair place, and the joy of the whole earth. Upon the north side lieth the city of the great king. God is well known in her palaces as a sure refuge. For lo, the kings of the earth are gathered and gone by together. They marvel to see such things. They were astonished and suddenly cast down. Fear came there upon them and sorrow, as upon a woman in her travel. Thou shalt break the ships of the sea through the east wind. Like as we have heard, so have we seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God, God upholdeth the same for ever. We wait for thy loving kindness, O God, in the midst of thy temple. O God, according to thy name, so is thy praise unto the world's end. Thy right hand is full of righteousness. Let the man Zion rejoice, and the daughter of Judah be glad, because of thy judgments. Walk about Zion, and go round about her, and tell the towers thereof. Mark well her bulwarks, set up her houses, that ye may tell them that come after. For this God is our God for ever and ever. He shall be our guide unto death.